Hi friends, this is MD Vegan and today an experiment of mine goes on because I found out that um, arugula and blueberries together, you won't believe it, taste like cacao. How is it possible? Well, I thought if that is true, I mean that is something very subjective, of course our taste buds are something individually different and each would taste it different for each. But I think there is something to it. There might be something to it. Because blueberries and arugula both, they have a strong connection to cacao. There is an affinity. I would say that. So today I want to combine all the three together. Arugula, blueberry and cacao. And to make it a little bit thicker and creamier, I take a little bit of avocado here. I show you half an avocado. It's a large avocado and half of it. And I have some sweetness to it. Just some dates. These are three, four smaller dates, very soft. Pitted, of course. And here I have a bowl of arugula. Maybe 100 grams or 125 grams or so. And same amount of blueberries. Only 250 grams or so, half a pound. And cacao. I have one to two tablespoons here. Depends on how much you like. I just try now. Put it all together with some water, five ingredients. Arugula. Blueberries. Avocado. Date and cacao to make it runny water, a smoothie. Now let's see what happens. So excited! I want that new flavor. What's also different from before, I made other smoothies with a similar flavor combination, I used then banana. But this time I won't use banana, as you see, I have used avocado. Now let's see what it tastes like. I know it is a pretty runny now, the runny like runniness I like for my smoothies, I also guess it might turn firm up a little bit because blueberries they have a pectin inside pectin that is in the apples also in the kernels of the apples and it makes everything a little bit thicker like a gel it gels up a little bit so it might happen here with this to the smoothie too so we'll see mm. flavor is very nice there's not much sweetness to it. And the cacao is strong in there. Arugula in the background, nice as it should be. Well, I might have some lemon to it. I might put some more dates to it. Wait a second. <laughs> Happen to have a half a lemon here. I put a little bit of it, lemon in. First I hesitated because Together with the cacao, lemon, you would say? Maybe not. But as it is um, with the, together with the blueberries, there might be a difference because blueberries are really nice with, with lemon. It's one of the perfect combinations. I take half of the lemon here. Made up my mind just in a minute, a second ago. Half a lemon. See, this is a quarter. The kernels. They don't disturb me. And I guess some more dates would be nice. So 
not only that they would be nice, the dates would be nice <coughs> with a lemon, they also are very nice with cacao. Because cacao from this nature is bitter. And, well, I like a little bit more sweetness here. And we'll see what happens. So I put more lemon, I put more dates and a little bit of lemon additionally. So six ingredients. Let's see what happens. sits there, it's still nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't know that cacao might even be nice with lemon, and it is. Now I'll show you what the smoothie looks like. Here, my glass, and it runs into the glass smoothly. You see? It's a nice cacao smoothie, and at the same time a green smoothie. And the color is not only from the brown and the green, it's also comes from the blueberry. It's very really strong. But you see mostly the cacao here, the brown. And I will do that more often. I will combine blueberries with greens. And that makes the green, it can make the green very deep, very deep green, going to um, violet. If you combine green and red in general, it can turn to very dark black. Could, because green and red, they are complementary colors and they turn together in deep black. So together with the cacao, the blueberry, so the, blue, the blueberries, the green might turn into a very dark green. I like that dark green color. Here it is together with brown, of course. Okay, I will, I will see to the future some more color experiments. Color is a very telling tool for nutrients and, um, well, enough information for now. Mm -hmm. Maybe you will enjoy it too, this combination. You can let me know. I would be happy to hear it and answer quickly. And um, you can also subscribe to my channel. It's MD Vegan on YouTube. And then you will have another recipe every single day.